beautiful cloudy Saturday morning here in Luxembourg and we are on our way I got ready as you saw and now we are on our way to go to our first first uh, CrossFit event here uh, it, I don't know exactly what it is it's called like a throwdown how is it called yeah something like this <laughs> And um, it, it is happening in a sports center here in Luxembourg so we are going to another area another city outside of the city center and we are going to support our uh, CrossFit gym that we are going and yeah they, we are excited to go over and see you know what is happening to see the workouts and everything so we are going over there uh, for the morning and then we need to do all this grocery shopping and then hopefully in the afternoon evening I will have some time to relax it was a very intense week so I hope I will take you know some time to just regroup myself because yesterday especially it was a very difficult day for me but this is in the past we focus in the present hopefully we can so yeah we are we get ready I have an outfit I was like so how can I say uh, optimistic about the weather I thought it was going to be a little bit better but unfortunately we really feel like the um, kind of like fall to winter time it's like super cloudy it's like 15 degrees so I had my crop top but of course I took like something else on top and I think I will I will wear it like when we are out of the car I will just immediately wear it because I was already cold inside the garage so the parking space so yeah anyway so I will see you when we are there I will show you what is happening and how things are at the CrossFit event So we came back from the CrossFit Throwdown competition championship i think it was just a competition it was really nice it was very nice to go over and support our gym and see the athletes you know like uh, doing their workouts there were like three different levels like a was the rx which is like the let's say beginners then intermediate and uh, the um, normal or advanced I, I don't remember how it is called so um, it was very nice we we had a really good time there we saw some familiar faces and then we were trying actually to go <laughs> to quite the opposite scene of uh, health and fitness i went to go to kfc because in luxembourg we don't have kfc we have to go to france and we were close to the border with france so i was like okay let's go over there but there was no uh, there were some construction and some blocked um roads streets so it was like a really complicated to do that so we came back we went to uh, the groceries and I thought why not doing some like haul I show you what uh, what we bought it was uh, we went to Lidl actually usually when we do our groceries in Luxembourg we, we don't go to Lidl but we wanted kind of like a limiting thing to take so we went over there and one and the most random things that we found uh, it's this mat it's like a, a bath mat and yeah i thought this would be good it was like seven euros and i was like okay let's take it because we need one like kind of like desperately then we have some tomatoes cherry tomatoes for breakfast and salads we got some eggs over here typical then i got this one this is like trout i think in english it's like fish and i really like it to have it with some lemon and marinated kind of like with lemon and onions and i really really like this one cucumber um then we have some uh ham actually it's like chicken like for for sandwiches and very healthy <laughs> chips like potato chips and then let me grab the other bag then we have some bread for the sandwiches we got some bananas very very important <laughs> um 
they do have like these nice immunity salts i would say that has like uh, ananas uh curcuma how is it in english curcuma Cur curcuma i'm not sure curcuma <laughs> and um lemon so we get these ones i tried once to make these and it was with lemon water curcuma and ginger how is it curcuma turmeric turmeric yes and turmeric actually is staining like hell a lot and i was like i will never do this in my life at home <laughs> it was horrible because it was staining the sink my my fingertips it was like it's not worth it i'm just buying it on, <laughs> from the groceries and then i got some parmesan cheese i'm not a big fan of these but sometimes with pasta i really need to have some cheese some tomato with uh, tomato pasta oh no tomato sauce with ricotta some grated emmental cheese my boyfriend really likes it with some with their his pasta so we got this one onions and lemons we got like a juice that is like tutti frutti that has like different fruits inside and then i also for the first time i got this one which is kind of like it's like a fruit and go and you squeeze it and you drink it i never had this but apparently like in the us also in france apparently it's like very common for kids to have this thing so i wanted to try and it has inside apple mango and passion fruit another pasta sauce some butter salted butter <laughs> a red bell pepper some pasta over here <laughs> this one is quite a lot this is like the one kilo of pasta we eat a lot of pasta here and last but not least we got some meat some minced meat and some like uh meat for like burgers like it's like a patty so yeah that was the grocery haul so now what we do i will put everything in the fridge and uh, in the cabinets and then i will cook some lunch because we haven't eaten we ate only one cookie and then um i wanted to do a little bit of reorganization in um in the bathroom because i have one big bucket of things that i need to reorganize before my trip to chicago so maybe we will tackle this today we shall see so i'll see you in a bit so welcome to my bathroom i finished eating and then we chilled a little bit on the couch and i was almost falling asleep i don't know why but i feel so tired i haven't slept very well the past days the past nights actually so i feel quite tired but that's irrelevant i get a little bit of a cat nap in a way so i rested a little bit and now i am here <coughs> and i was telling you about like so let me show you what i have here it's a little bit messy at the moment as you can see but i have this furniture here and i have this part where it's like full of stuff that i really need to figure out what i need what i don't need so let's do this over here now there are quite some stuff that I have over, mainly like skincare, body care, things like this, like hair care as well. So every time that I buy something, usually I will put it over here. It's like, it's heavy and it's big. It's like the size of my torso, like the length of my torso. So let's go with item one by one and I will kind of like figure out what is like the things that i'm using things that are expired because for example i have this one over here that i haven't used it for such a long time all these things that they've been sitting here like one and a half years maybe two years so it's time to go you know i brought this one over here that has like kind of like a travel size thing so i have over here like a lot of samples like items that they give you when you go to sephora or you buy online like skincare so i will put everything here that i would like to keep and so you know i can just have all these small items in one place i will actually throw away these things over here all these um samples of 
perfumes because I never use them and I never buy perfumes like this. So this is to throw. <laughs> Here are all the items that I'm keeping and these are the ones that I will throw away. Not that many and oh my god, I forgot how much I love this body butter as well. This is from Rituals, it's like the refillable ones. This is the packaging. It's the Rituals, the Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom Magic Touch Body Cream. Amazing! So what I will do now is like I will put everything over here and I wanted to do this for such a long time so I'm very happy that we sat together and we did it. One thing that I didn't mention though is that all my skincare that I'm using on a daily basis like morning and night I do keep them in front of the uh, mirror over here so the things that I have in this basket are more things that I need to store somewhere else since we are here I also wanted to share with you my other box of makeup this is full of makeup and I know one of you is asking me to do like a makeup uh, collection to show you what I have in general I have to say like compare what I had to previous years I have like really really narrow down what I'm using and what I, I use every day and what I buy actually. I rarely, not rarely, I only buy makeup that I really feel like I need and I will use. I'm not like spending money just to buy new stuff. I'm spending my money very purposely, purposely, like on purpose, purposely, right? It just doesn't sound normal to me. But yeah, I try to be very no, I wouldn't say minimal. I'm not minimal <laughs> with my spending, but kind of like have a reason why I want to buy this. Of course, there are many times that I've bought things that, you know, I just don't need and I, yeah, I don't need them and I don't really, or I have them like twice. For example, like I bought this Zue highlighter. It's a beautiful one. Did I need one? Or another one? No, because I'm always using this Charlotte Tilbury one that I love, the liquid one. But I found it in a really good price and I wanted also like a powder highlighter, so I bought it. And then when I was in America, I was at Sephora and I was seeing like all these amazing blushes that I really liked and I wanted to buy. But then I was thinking, Georgia, do I really need another blush? I have my <laughs> ride or die, this Patrick Tab uh, palette that it has like a um, um, powder blush and a cream blush. And also I have these liquid blushes. So I really don't need more, you know, like maybe I need one more that is a little bit more peachy and another one that is a little bit more like on the burgundy side so it's like deeper and richer but i really do have enough you know so i try lately and when i say lately i think it's the past year to really buy products that i need and i'm not overflowing with things because one thing that you need to know for me in the situation here is that our apartment doesn't have like much space to store things. So I really need to be very cautious of how many things I have and where do I, where can I store them because we don't have much storage space. So yeah, I thought that maybe I can share with you, you know, what I have over here and yeah, have fun I guess. <laughs> First things first, you know my, this over here, this guy, I have it, I don't know, even know how many years. I have this Charlotte Tilbury like makeup bag that I love and it, it fits so many stuff, so many things. So in general, how can I show you? Like I do have like two mascaras and this is all I have for mascaras, I think. I don't have anything else. NARS Mascara Climax and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. One is for volume, the other is for length, so I like them both. Highlighter, highlighter, my bronzer stick from uh, uh, Westman Atelier. 
this amazing palette i love this palette from natasha denona this is how i did my makeup uh, for my best friend's wedding in chicago this is the only thing that i used and this one is the mini sunset palette i i really like the pigmentation how they apply on the on the or not on the face on the eyes it's like beautiful i do have quite some brushes over here um because i use a lot of brushes like my foundation brush powder blah brush uh, this is like a contour and blush uh brush <laughs> these are all from morphe actually is it morphe yes uh as well another like fluffy blah brush another brush so yes i do have quite a lot of brushes for eyeshadow and my face as well powder i have only two powders and one sample these are the two powders that i have and i really like one is a loose powder this is the givenchy prism libre uh, at the shade number two satin uh, satin blanc and this is the charlotte tilbury that i love 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 this is the ebras flawless finish in the shade number two medium money ah medium moyen <laughs> I thought it was saying money, but it's moyen. And then I do have a brown uh, eyeliner that is in the like this type of form. Who remembers these baked like blushes and highlighters from Mac? This is talk of the town mineralized blush. I love this brush blush. Maybe I have it like I don't know ten years. <laughs> I want to say it's like so old it's like fully expired I know but I just love it and I really like how yeah it applies to the face and I still use it of course not every day it's like very special occasion but I just love it oh my god this one over here this is the ink ink lot lip pencil in the shade 16 this is a beautiful like nudish pink can you see it over here like a nudist pink color that applies so nicely but you need to have like hydrated lips uh, because otherwise it, it is a little bit dry but I just love it then we have over here a Vive Lip Dewy Glossy Lip Oil I would say it's like a lip gloss actually it's not a lip oil um, also these are the only two natural um, lip liners that i have one is from charlotte tilbury this is the um what is it lip cheat in the shade pillow talk that i think it's a little bit lighter from my lips so i'm not crazy about it the one that i really like it's this one over here this is the inglot soft precision lip liner in the shade 63 and i have a last curler a beautiful <laughs> by Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is like a base before your foundation and it gives a nice like bronzing glow to the skin. I have some more like uh, brushes over here. I have an eyeliner from Viv that I really, really like. This is the Viv Power Ink Eyeliner or liner, I like it. This one is a brow pencil from NYX. Uh, it's like a liquid it's like a yeah liquid liner for your eyebrows i don't really use it that much i feel like sometimes that i will distribute a lot of product because i just need it only in the front a little bit and i feel like it looks quite fake but i think at the same time can look natural it's just that you need to have a very very light hand and then who remembers also this one over here this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in the original i love this one my backstage concealer that i love and i have also another one that i think it's like almost done yeah actually it's done this is the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade vanilla uh yes light to vanilla uh, another brush uh this charlotte tilbury lipstick in the same shade penelope pink that it's like a nice thing but again for me i think it's like too light and then a tiny mascara from nars an eyeliner black eyeliner and one of my favorite um eyeshadows that they are in a stick 
from by Terry and this is what it is it's a beautiful you can use it like during the day during the night i love it i have done I, uh, my makeup and i have a video that i will link it up here so you can see and this is the an another uh, powder oh my god my brain uh this is from uh dermacolor this is a uh, dermacolor fixing powder it's like a loose powder very very nice and lastly, this is the NYX, the brow glue. So it's like a mascara for your brows and a sharpener. And this is all I have in this pouch over here. Then for my foundation, I have over here like two foundations that I use. This one, not anymore since this came into my life. So this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. A very nice foundation. I enjoyed it a lot using it, but I cannot compare it with this one over here. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime, Sublime Perfection. I love this. It's perfection. This is what I have since this morning that I did my makeup, you saw. I love, I love the colors like the shades that they have like you can find your shade for sure and at the same time is the 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 cover is like light to me to medium i would say and you can do it like buildable i really like the finish is like dewy but not like too dewy it's not too matte like a satin finish actually i'm just loving it now over here i do have some eyeshadow palettes that I'm not using them as much anymore. I use mainly this one over here and the eyeshadow from By Terry that I showed you the stick form. But, but, actually lie. This one over here, I have used it a lot and I'm using it still. This is the Anastasia, I'm sorry. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And as you will see, it's quite dirty, but I have used it so much this is a beautiful palette that if you're a beginner if you're a professional i think that is like really worth the money so i'm just cleaning it a little bit because it's disgusting um but i love it so much you can do so many different like looks because you have everything that you need so i highly recommend it and the pigmentation is amazing mm, love it i do have two palettes that they're this kind of the same so this is the naked urban decay heat palette and this is the mini version this is the petite version of this one so the last palette that i have over here it's a double stack palette this is from inglot i used to work actually for inglot in greece and it was my first job over there in their marketing pr department i loved it and i still have a friend that we still talk and ah uh, yeah such a good memories so i have built my own palette over here the first one i have one broken here it has all these beautiful colors i'm just like i really like you can tell that i like my browns and my warm tones i really really like it very safe i would say over here apart from this color and this color like the rest is like very easy to to use in a way but then guys like i don't know what happened but look at this here i put some color there i don't know how i put this this green like why did i put, i have a green palette a green palette why do i have like a green color uh, eyeshadow like i don't really need it this and these ones like i don't know why i have them there but i'm glad that i have them this one i loved it so much i used it so much i have to say as well as this one over here the pink one is really nice to blend out things so yes very loved palette another palette over here but it's for the face this is the hourglass uh, ambient lighting palette i have to say for so many years a lot of like beauty youtubers they were talking about this palette and i was like oh my god i really want to buy this because it looks so beautiful and so nice on their skin but it was so expensive so i was never like really buying it and then one day i was like yes i will do it so i bought it it came and i haven't used it much i mean i used it i liked it but it wasn't something like you know special it was fine but I don't know, I really much prefer my uh, Westman Atelier, this one over here, this contour stick. Maybe this like gives a little bit of a like 
summer keys in a way that you have like this like darker in a way but for me it was a little bit too grayish the shade so maybe i didn't pick up the right shade i don't know i, w I didn't love it over here i have one makeup bag that actually has like only brushes and i did also uh, buy one of these like palettes that you can mix your foundations and do all your you know concoctions that you want to do i have some samples from Charlotte Tilbury and also some other samples from Criolan because i did like a workshop with them so they gave me some like free samples but yeah i do have like a lot of uh, brushes over here mainly from morphe and mac i would say and last but not least another makeup bag from charlotte tilbury i love them so much i really like how you know they are with the with the lips over here i just yeah and they have they fit so much stuff as i said like a lot so when i dig over here it's kind of like i don't know everything and nothing at the same time i'm not really using this uh, makeup bag at all it's more like you know like lip pencils as you will see that i'm not using them that much um i have a hula bronzer i used to <laughs> i used to use it so much but not anymore so a hula bronzer i do have some more mascara ah, this is not a mascara i do have some more nars mascara so this is that i do have one of the most beautiful red lipsticks this is the giorgio armani this is the shade 400 and i remember i remember the day i received this one because it was um a pure package that i used to really receive when i was living in greece and i was doing everything in greek i used to receive some of the yeah brands were sending me some stuff and i remember receiving this and i was so happy to have my giorgio armani pure package so yeah, it was very special. I do have another lipstick. This is uh, the Superstay Vinyl Ink Lipstick, lip stain, whatever, from Maybelline. I love these ones. This is in the shade uh, 20 Koi, and the one that I'm mostly obsessed about, and I almost use it every single day, it's the Cheeky one. I don't remember what is the number, but I remember the shade is called Cheeky. And then, as I said, I do have some lip liners and eyeliners that I'm not using that much, such as like these over here. These are like two MAC lip liners, one in the shade red and the other one is the same brick. Like brick, I remember, it was like a huge uh, trend. So yes, I'm not using them that much. And this one, it's the um, Derwish. Yeah. Um, I do have one brown, one black uh, lip uh, eyeliner and one in this like cream color and then this one, this is I actually I need to maybe like use this one because it's a nice shade. This is from NYX, the Sweat Matte Lip Liner in the shade uh, Small 42 San Francisco and then another Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. And I do have some like lipsticks from MAC. So I do have over here, this is the Ruby Woo, of course, like who back in the day didn't have Ruby Woo in their bag, uh, beauty bag palette, uh, palette, oh my god, in their beauty bag, makeup bag, <laughs> makeup bag, and then I also have, oh my god, Brave, do you remember, amazing, I see that my... <laughs> camera battery is dying so but to be honest not many things these are some eyeshadows from Inglos like loose eyeshadows and then I do have some more lipsticks one mascara that I love this is the Monsieur Big uh, from Lancome some samples another shadow so yeah and an eyeless glue mainly these are the things that I have and yeah i'm trying to keep it minimal some things that i have over here are sentimental so i have kept them some others i buy them because i need them but yeah these are the things that i do have in my makeup collection for the moment and i hope you enjoyed this one i think i will close the video here because i think i'm talking for so long i enjoyed so much showing you all the makeup items that i have i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below which makeup item is the one that you cannot live without i always like to know what is your favorite items and then i will see you next time i hope you enjoyed your video and i will see you next week Mwah.